the year of the Linux desktop. We've been hearing about the year of the Linux desktop since, well, since Linux existed for a very, very long time. And we all know that it has never happened yet, and it has become such a thing that it's become a meme, right? The Windows guys likes to like to mock us about this whole year of the Linux desktop thing. Oh, yeah, it's going to be the year of the Linux desktop. It's so cute, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, silly little Linux people. You know, it's never going to happen, right? Well, there has been more of this going on since the Steam Deck was released because the Steam Deck uses Arch Linux and more and more people are getting exposure to Ar to Linux. And YouTube channels like LTT are doing specials on Linux and Linux is more popular than ever. And this is absolutely true. More people are using Linux than ever before, and a lot of that can be contributed to Steam and the Steam Deck. People are finally seeing that Linux can game, and gaming is one of the things that has held Linux back for the last three decades. And then we get things like this. Today it was announced that NVIDIA is transitioning the official open source Linux GPU kernel drivers to open source. So they're open sourcing the kernel drivers similar to what AMD has done in the past. Well, the distant past, a long time ago. Uh, this is not all of the NVIDIA drivers, so just keep that in mind. But it's a really good start in terms of making NVIDIA cards work better on Linux natively without having to do a whole bunch of work after your install in order to get them to work. And of course, because of the success with the Steam Deck and because of this news here, we're getting a lot of YouTubers getting on their platforms and creating things like this. I love DT. He's a fantastic guy. I think he has done so many good things for the Linux community. But Foss is Winning is a interesting title, and I want to talk about why. We also have things like this one here from the Linux Experiment, who has talked about how SteamOS and Steam Deck will help Linux become even more popular if things go a certain way. I love the optimism. I think that it is fantastic to be optimistic about Linux, and I am optimistic about Linux. I think that it will continue to grow in popularity, and we'll see more and more Things like this in video news where software vendors make their software at least available on Linux even if they don't go the whole open source route. But I want to throw some dirt on the fire for just a little while and be my usual cynical self. Just calm down on the winning thing because first of all there's this little dude in my head that's talking about tempting fate and jinxing it. And uh, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a little superstitious, superstitious. I can't even say the damn word without stuttering. So superstitious. That was the word. But maybe I'm just that. <laughs> I'm not going to try again. You know, but I just pump the brakes just a little bit on the whole winning thing. Okay. Linux hasn't won. FOSS hasn't won. Uh, at least not in the consumer market. It's, it's not there yet. We have some more hope that it could possibly be more popular in the future, and I hope that it is, but it's hasn't won. Just and it's not winning either. It's just it's doing the same thing it has done for the last thirty years. Steady and safe growth. That's the way Linux has gone for a long time and open source software too. So I'm just cautioning him for some of the super superstitious damn it man. Superstitious reason, reasons, good lord. That word is freaking hard to say because there's a, there's that dude in my head that just doesn't want you to say because even that's tempting fate. Anyways, and I see some salt and throw it over my shoulder and knock on some wood and go outside three times, turn in a circle and spit. If you get that reference, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> anyways, there's this idea in the Linux community that as it becomes more popular, it means that we have all of a sudden become the big dog on campus, the best thing around, the thing that everyone's going to want to use. And I think that while there is some of that, I want to just throw some caution into not being so optimistic because we've been here before, right? When AMD open sourced their stuff we thought it was fantastic. We thought that, oh my god, Linux has finally made it, right? It didn't happen. The n The amount of user share on this, like the Steam survey or whatever, it has, it has been around 1% since 
for many, many years, for a long time, and it hasn't really gone up. Now, with the introduction of the Steam Deck and more and more games, that number will increase, but it's not going to overtake Windows anytime soon. And maybe we don't want it to. Maybe it could be argued that winning just entails being more than 1%. Maybe 5% will say, hey, you know what, we've won. I don't know what the definition or the line is of where we can actually say, hey, we've won. Uh, but I, I don't even know that if it's a, it's about winning. I, it, this rhetoric just kind of bothers me just a little bit. Maybe it's that superstitious uh, thing inside me that doesn't want to jinx it. Maybe it's that I don't want to get my hopes up and just have them crash and burn like they have over and over again since I joined the Linux community. You know, and I'm a fairly new member of the Linux community. I can't even imagine the people who have been in the Linux community since 1990 and have been pouring their effort into open source software and Linux, and they keep getting teased with all this stuff, and it just never catches on in the mainstream over and over and over again. Like, even when there is something that has gone bad with Windows. Like a few years ago, Windows released, or Microsoft released a, a Windows update that deleted data all over the place for all, like a lot of people. Like it was a mainstream bug that deleted a lot of data. And even that, like, even that was like, it was in the, like the nightly news that didn't drive or spur adoption for Linux. Okay. And while I do think Linux will get more popular, I'm very cautious and saying this is the time that it's going to happen. This is the moment when Linux and open source software is going to f rush into the on the stage and be the thing that everyone wants to use. And again, maybe it's not about everyone. Maybe it's about a certain number of people splitting the share between Windows and open source software, Windows and Linux. Whatever that line is, maybe it's about that instead of being the only thing in town. However you argue it, I just urge caution, simply for mental health reasons, in that, you know, if you take the cautious approach and don't think that this is the moment, you have an opportunity to be surprised if it goes really well, but you also kind of pad yourself against disappointment if it fails like it has so many times before. So that is it for this video. I've done enough naysaying for one night. Uh, I know that this is probably going to go against a lot of people because a lot of people are very optimistic. Like, it's a good thing to be optimistic in, about Linux and open source software. I want to be that guy all the time, like rah, rah, Linux. And I think that there's so many good things about Linux. That's the reason why I've created a YouTube channel about Linux. But I also want to just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Linux is going to be at 1% market share tomorrow, just like it is today. And if it does slowly creep up, it will slowly creep up. It's not going to go from 1% to 20% over the next year. I don't think. Like, if it does, I'm going to be very surprised. I'll be happy to be wrong. If it's at 1.5% a year from now or two years from now, I'm happy with that too. Because, you know what, I still get to use Linux. I still get to talk about Linux. I still get to try to bring more and more people to Linux. You know, not only in my family, but also but through the YouTube channel. And that's all I ever really want to do. And that's really all I need to do. So I don't need to be winning. I don't need to be... Uh, I don't need Linux to be the next big thing. I just want it to be the way it is. And s just slow growth. Slow and steady growth is safe growth. Anyways, that is it for this video. If you have comments on this whole situation, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the Linux Cast. If you want to follow me on Mastodon, you can find that link in the video description along with the links to all of my other social media accounts and so on and so forth. There's also a store link down there if you're interested in buying some merch. There's some fairly outdated at this point merch on a store that Zany runs, so you can go check that out if you're interested in a t-shirt or a cup or a mug or something. Head on over there. If you want to for support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash linuxcast. I'd like to thank my current patrons. Robert Sid, Devon, Patrick, Fred, Kramer, Meglin, Jack Snuggie Tools, Steve A. Cyber Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Keith, Andy, Uncle Bonehead, Tri-Devil, Gary, Antoine, Mitchell, Daydog, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, 
Marnie, Ross, Eduardo, Art Center, Elliot, Ms. Love, Merrick, Camp Dutch, Lee, Peter A. Crucible, Dark Benedict, Times, PM. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.